In this sense, motives and motivations may not be identifiable or visible themselves, but that they result in action brings visibility to them. Additionally and surprisingly, it may not matter what the intellectual contents of motives are. For if motives do not manifest dynamic flows, then they will not manifest. Conversely, if the dynamic flows are present, then it probably will not matter too much what the intellectual contents consist of. In other words, the dynamic flows are themselves the power, not the ideas behind them. More precisely, the motive or motivation consists of the dynamic energies or forces which result in the action, while the action itself, if powerful enough, will set in motion subsequent activity, often as in the case of a chain reaction. One of the points being made here is that the motive or the motivation is actually at first a flow of energy or force before it results in whatever action or activity it does. The motivational flow then results in an action, while the action itself induces subsequent flows among its targeted areas.